Om Shanti. Today is your 82nd day of your beautiful meditative Vardhan, where we can meditate, contemplate upon the things which Baba has to say to us. And in today's Vardhan, Baba explains the difference between the law which, with which the world today is working, Kali Yuga or the Iron Age, and the law with which the Golden Age is to be created by us followers of God's guidance, His teachings. So Baba today explains us that we lawmakers cannot be lawbreakers. We are the ones who are creating peace through Baba and we are following Brahmanism. Brahmanism not the one in which people who are born through a Brahman family but God comes down on earth, creates through Brahma the Brahman family and that's the time which is going on right now where you become a true Brahmin, not the one who's seen as a Brahmin from outside with the ways of wearing and keeping their hair, but a Brahmin who is through actions, through thoughts and through words. So let's see what lawmaker does Baba want us to become. So Baba says, may you be a lawmaker and a new world maker. So once you make the new law, not the Kalyugi law, not the Iron Age law, once you make the new laws, the new world comes in. May you be a lawmaker and a new world maker who is lawful to yourself and everyone else. First, I have to follow the law myself of how to be peaceful. Then I only I can teach others to be peaceful. So Baba goes into details. He says, those who are lawful to themselves can also be lawful to others. So if God was somebody who was creating death on earth, if God was somebody who was creating typhoon or destruction or war on earth, then would he be somebody who people will revel or pray to or ask for guidance, one who is creating violence or one who is creating disruption? No. God is the peacemaker. He is an ocean of peace. He is, he is an ocean of purity, ocean of love. He is a purifier. He is the most powerful, knowledgeful being in the whole universe or in the whole Brahma Loka. So imagine, he is the lawmaker of golden age. He creates heaven on earth and he destroys the old thinking pattern of souls on earth, which is what we have become, Kalyugi or Iron Age or black or dark in our minds. So he comes and purifies us and gives us light. That's why God is light. So Baba says those who are lawful to themselves can also be lawful to others. Those who break the law themselves cannot enforce the law on others. If I am not following what I am preaching, I cannot preach to others. So Baba says, therefore examine yourself from morning to night in my thoughts. So Baba has taught us, don't think about others, don't focus on others, don't spread the bad qualities of others. And don't talk about what is bad in others. Don't spread the disease, Baba says, the disease of the mind. Then Baba says that don't focus on what is right and what is wrong in a person. Focus on what is right and what is wrong in yourself. Don't blame, don't judge, right? So Baba says those are things which we have to think in the thoughts. Powerful thoughts, pure thoughts. Even if somebody is doing wrong, I have to have good wishes for that soul. I have to have good hope hope for that soul. Then in words, in words I am something inside different but outside I am being sweet to everybody, trying to be sweeter to everyone but inside I am thinking impure about them. It doesn't work. Words have to be sweet inside out. Actions, I am trying to come into action just for getting name and fame or I am putting somebody else down when I am doing some form of seva. So actions, connections, when I am coming in connection I am looking at the person's wealth the physical features and then I'm coming in connection with that soul. I'm not considering the soul. I'm just considering the outer bodily shell or what that soul has attained in the physical world and then coming in connection. That's not the pure connection. In giving cooperation, I'm giving cooperation only when I get back cooperation or I'm giving cooperation because I want something in return or I'm while well, giving cooperation, I'm putting that person down in front of others or I'm telling ill about that person, spreading ill news about that person to others while I'm cooperating with that person. It's happening in this Kali Yuga, right? So Baba says that's not the law. That's the law of Kali Yuga. 
So connections in giving cooperation to another and in doing service. Do I break the law in any way? I have to do opposite of all that we have discussed right now in a pure manner. Those who are lawmakers cannot be lawbreakers. I cannot break the law which God has taught us in Brahma Kumaris. To think pure, to do pure and to speak pure. Those who are lawmakers at this time become the peacemakers. So am I creating peace in my own home, in my own household, in my workplace? Because then I am spreading peace. The new world makers. Those who are lawmakers at this time become the peacemakers, the new world makers. So that is how God comes down and he teaches us how to spread peace in the whole world. And first for that, I have to follow the law of peace. That means I have to be soul conscious. Am I soul conscious or am I body conscious? Do I look at my own physical features? Do I look at my own wealth and come into ego or jealousy later on and greed and many other forms of competition comparisons? And I create peacelessness around me or am I following the law of contentment, complete contentment? Am I content? Am I soul conscious? And do I know the Ra's? or means the secret of what is going to happen in the world. Am I focused on that or not? Which decides my state of mind. So then Baba says, that's how you will bring the new world and you become the new world maker. Contemplate about this, focus on this and we'll see you later then. Tomorrow. Om Shanti. Be peaceful.